So we can actually look around our house now. Uh, oh, is this uncle's room? Because I never actually saw that. Is this where uncle stays? It's a chest. Might as well have this. Robin from my own home. <laughs> this might not be uncle's room. It might be. There's no bed roll or anything in there, though. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure someone said it was above. This room was above the kitchen. Oh, look. They did a really good job, like, making this in the other one, didn't they? So this is... Or is this where Uncle's sleeping now? I thought this was the bathroom. Is this not the bathroom? Before? Because that's Jack's room. They've changed some things then. Maybe he got upgraded. <laughs> Pestilence. Oh, that's not a good sign. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. <laughs> Ain't working so well. <laughs> not yet. Practice makes perfect. To be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. <laughs> if he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry him. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> this is possibly one of the few times I've actually seen them getting on. Ah, oh, damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. <laughs> Come on! Scat! Shh! <laughs> so they're shooting crows. I can do that. Shame I don't need any feathers anymore. Got him. Wow, there's a lot of crows there. It's like a Maybe I should switch to uh, this. It's better for shooting crows. It's much more effective. to go shoot wool. That's, that's a lot of crows to kill. That didn't look like a Come on, stop. Shoot them. What is that noise? Feathers falling. Get out of here, crows. This is a very different type of murder of crows. I lost too much corn? What? That was an option? Okay. Have I literally just got to just keep shooting it? Really? But I killed way more last time. Fine. Now about that stew. Why was that different? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, there's an uncle mission too now. Okay. We're, we're spending time here. Hey, Jack. 
Um, I don't know why I came in to speak to her. The thing is out here. Do I actually get my stew now? Probably not. Old friends, new problems. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Yeah. Something you ain't telling me? <laughs> Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Put the cows off oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. You weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. <laughs> I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. She did indeed. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. <laughs> okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. Don't say that. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he recovered that one. I'll let him off for that. Well, you don't tell your wife that the woman that she's slightly concerned about is like her, because you know you married your wife for a reason. John, wait. Come in. I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? We better hurry. Oh, crap. We better hurry indeed. Get to the general store before the run runs How long is that? I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep it very fast. So. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. Oh, wait, wait. That Jack's seen enough of me for a lifetime. Hey, Ross. Somebody so, has to think I was going right. Is she right. married? No. Is Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Mouth. No. That kind of normal. She's still be reassured by the club. A, a little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. <laughs> I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. Oh, yes. I ain't okay. jealous so much as curious. Have you heard what she wrote? It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. Uh, all right, rich. Rich. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening a great a dumb fool. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. Oh, you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John, and they hated you for it. They did. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. Though, so, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. I don't want to interrupt this conversation, but I'm running out of time. So, I kind of had to stop. 
Oh, I'm supposed to be gone for a proper time. I was gonna ask, I don't actually know how long. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. What's the duration of this? Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. Yeah, Listen, but you change yourself, you don't change young. others. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. <laughs> well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. So is Abigail going to say something on the way back? What her thoughts are on Miss McFarlane? Ma'am? Yeah, I thought she, uh... Might be a little taken with John. She sounded disappointed to hear he was married. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. Yeah. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> the McFarlands are good people. She did blush redder than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. <laughs> You've clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. They got there. It It'll is. be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just going to leave us alone now? The old gang's I'm dead. worried about it. I did what they asked. And that's it? How long the for Nate What's his face? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Yeah. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Doug, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John. And I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. Than they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. It's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be alright. It's gonna take time. For a while his world was safe. Normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him. But how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They I wonder how much he remembers. He, he hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. So how old is Jack now? I can't think how old he was. Did they say, did they say he was like 15 or 16? Or something. We 
You did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. <laughs> Rat stew. Um, so I probably can't do the jack one because I think it was like locked after 6 p.m. It's 9 p.m. Let me just double check the time on it. I think it was 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. I don't even know where the uncle one was, so I can't do that one. So we might as well go and have a little sleep. Okay. Let's go to Jack. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. There's uncle. Oops. <laughs> Just pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, uncle. Family member's not here now. Okay. Where is he? Well, I guess we'll speak to uncle. Oh, I flung him across the room. Sweat, did I say sweat and toil? Blood, sweat and toil. I missed the name. <laughs> Uncle's working hard again. Get up, old man. <laughs> I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. And you always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. <laughs> so this isn't quite the uh, banterousness they had before. This uncle feels more serious. Oh, let's do more hurting. I was hoping that they weren't actually going to do it. <laughs> You stay front! So how far have we got taken this time? There. Hopefully not far. Let's see what that would be. Come on! Uh, excuse me, where do you think you're going? Get back in that herd. Wake up! Come on! Let's get him out to pasture! Outside. that gateway because I'm not very good at getting through gateways. <laughs> so far my track record has not been great on that front. I mean, it seems like it's risky to put your cattle out to pasture where it's not your land. It's no wonder somebody stole our last cow because that's what we were doing. Come on! somehow magically got 15 cows again though. Like they're giving me the baseline of, no you have 15 cows, don't worry. If you mess up and lose them, you can still have 15. Because <laughs> imagine if they didn't do that and uh, you ended up with 14 cows now and then you lose them more. You just whittle down and eventually only have one cow left if you keep feeding them. Let's go! Why are you facing me, sir? Go that way. Steady now, you dumb cow! We're taking them a long way away. Yeah. Oh. God damn it! Oh, Christ, oh. God! They're stampede! This is like what we did before. They're gonna run into the oh. tree! Oh, 
yourself killed. Shut it, old man. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. He's only like caring Let's move about him out. your job. <laughs> need to be oh, I have lost some cows still. How have I lost cows? Dang it. I had 15 when I went after that. I suppose that's what I get. Go get distracted and lose some cows. Fine. It's definitely 15 though. He should have uh, kept a better eye on them for me while I was saving the day. your pound of flesh from me today. <laughs> so I'll just look after the cows then I guess. What do we do about the cows? Minus 200 honor? What for? Did I kill the wrong people or something? Why did I get minus 200 honor? Did they think I didn't look after the... the, the That's not fair. Let's go! They must have, like... It registered as me not helping out with the train robbery because I heard about my cows for a minute before I did that. Yeah. Bloody rude. So am I just abandoning my cows out in the middle of nowhere? That seems like a really silly plan. Surely somebody's just going to take my cows. Cannibal. Shit! Dang! You're lucky to be alive. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> oh, got a little bit of fame. Should have got some honor for that. Come on. Oh, I did. Okay. So there's half my honor back. That's Come a good on. one. Can't believe that guy was trying to eat me. John Marston and Son. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins. And how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. He doesn't we really use the meat. seem like the hunting type. Well, I, I know you'd rather read your adventures. 
Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, and let's go. Bad. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Yeah, uh, that's, that's very funny. a very high risk. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your thing. This area. Lots of grizzlies in the woods. The horses. Can I pet my dog? What was my dog called? Rufus. I cannot. Still going at least programming being able to pet my own dog, right? Even if I can't pet everybody else's. Alright, now stay close to the dog, son. Oh, we're taking the dog with us. Oh, oh the dog may not get killed by a bear. <laughs> I've been on this before, where there's a dog and we're going hunting and then my dog dies. I don't appreciate it, so it better not happen. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Better see the dog now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. Yeah, what have they been doing for like the last four years? You don't seem too so excited strange. about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Give me. Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Jack, he's on to something. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. I'm worried there's a next time. Yeah! Because there's not been any end credits. You know, no, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. No big final bar to boot for the credits. Doesn't, doesn't fit. Now. When we get near him, hang back and stay quiet. I'll show you how it's done. Don't worry, I won't mess it up. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. I don't actually see it. Somewhere up there, you saying that? Let's go. Up oh, there. Now I see it. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Is that, in Manzanita. Is that my dog? Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Why is my dog growling? Shouldn't we be going? All right. <laughs> let's see if we can find some more. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm getting the horse. Just a second. You can do it, Rufus. Rufus is good boy. Yeah. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. Yeah, don't do the way I did all it. Right. Go for like a, he finds a hot shot. You take the lead. I'm oh, just shooting the crap out of it. Let's go. Whoa. I bet he's going to run into a grizzly, isn't he? Like, even if it's not going to kill the dog, we're going to run into a grizzly. We're in that area. Let's go! Just make sure I've got like five yeah. shots available. Oh, the there they box. are! Jack, come on!
steady now. Come on. I run out of shots. So now I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Is he gonna do all three? Yes, getting animals is not something I would ever want to do. It's not particularly pleasant. Did you magically deal with three? Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. You don't need to do the one. Why did you tell me to shoot all the out there? Hey, watch it! Messy. Yeah, I'll get out back on my horse when we've got this meat and stuff. I'm not wasting it. Imagine what Charles would say to me. Oh, Lord. This is what? nasty. Did you see me? You did good, son. Yeah, we shoot some more. You did great, dude. Than the explosive rifle. Found it, friend. Well, let's see what you got. Um, I need elk. Meat. Now you're all set. Do I just have to sell the what? Or do I have to sell the one? Pretty soon they'll be introducing more comfortable trading seats than ice the wealthy. Okay. That should keep me going. Got some medicine too, while I remembered. Because <laughs> I bet something's gonna happen. All done. Let's head home. My horse is all the way over there. Oh, this is over there. Don't you run off? Oh, almost. Yeah. Back home. Well, that's quite How nice. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. Ah, oh, you got what about me? What did I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That didn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt oh, landowner. Shoving me into a bloody road, man. Off the road. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. <laughs> we ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. I wonder how old John is. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. You're growing up. I'm proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can only imagine. Why are you stopping? Because I wanted this conversation to finish, probably. That was it, then that was fine. Oh, Paul, that was...
was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. Without any big we'll monsters. Do it again though. soon. So that's I'll good. Get to your chores. And there's my honor back. Lovely. Um, Spurred to victory. What's that one for? Um, what should I do? Who's shooting stuff around my place? Oh, it's Jack. What's he doing? What are we gonna teach him to shoot? Wolves, dogs, and sons. You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. I ain't He's going really holding a grudge. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. He's definitely a teenager. <laughs> Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safe with two. Okay. So, although the mission is called Wolves, Dogs, and Sons, can we leave Rufus here so he doesn't die? Alright, let's go! Please. Stay on Rufus now! Damn it. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, see the whole, like, John and Jack thing, it's really just making me... You know that. Why you gotta wonder what the heck like they've been doing That's for all years. what do! I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man. You can't be tired already. Yeah. The next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but it'll no, get better, so son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I wonder if this is like the bit we Paul, ran you through. Where are you? Uh, trying to get lots of space back. Come on. The guy that got captured by the Skinners. We're somewhere around this place. Man. Good boy. Come on! He's picked up a scent! Follow me! Don't give up now! Let's keep Come moving! On. They don't give you much chance to get started again, do they? <laughs> well, they're nagging you. Get after him, boy! I 
I just get attacked by wolves in this area. But I kill them all, so. Really, they probably wouldn't be wolves if I'd already dealt with them. So I think I should be able to go home now and just chill out. Come on, boy! Come on! I knew I wasn't gonna get up there. I was like, that's way too steep. Uh, up the hill. Thank you. Come on, boy! I didn't try and explore this little cabin though when I was on this way. I was going to, and then I got distracted by everything else. That's a good boy! There they are! Come on, son! There you go. Um, I don't want to be up on the cliff. I think. I'm gonna be down there. Let's go. I'll get him! Come on! This is what you get for stealing our cat! Please do not go out hunting bears. Although I am much better at killing them now because in that time I was out with the stuff to kill them. What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Yeah. Not for the person bit. who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those wrestlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. <laughs> Don't be getting those ideas, kill Jack. Few wolves. We've, uh, meant to be leaving that life behind, not going back down it again. We need another living master nurse and outlaw. understand what are you coming means. Uh, right. I do like my horse. Hunter, I think the reason I like this horse is it reminds me of fuel. I think he's gonna go and run up and try and hunt a bear, isn't he? Just to, you know, be helpful. Because <laughs> that's always helpful. Um, so we've got two missions again. I don't think Jack's actually where this one is. I'm just wondering what time it's. Yeah. Come back after 4 p.m. today. After 4 p.m. 
Why was that specifically after 4 p.m. today? It's never said that before. Does that? Oh, I bet he's gonna bloody run off, isn't he, and go and try and hunt a bear? Just because he's a young lad who's full of it at the moment. He's that age. Okay, so I think I'm gonna actually leave this episode here. Um, and I might see about trying to find some more beads and stuff <laughs> in between. Because I really want to get this one out of the way. But I just can't flip in get the stuff for it. It's only the beavers that's the issue. I've got the feathers now. The sage is easy. I've got loads of sage before, so I'm not worried about that. It's just the flipping beavers. So I'm gonna have a hunt around back through here and do a massive loop, I guess, and just see if I can flip and find some. Because I need them. Um, but I've still got two missions. I'm gonna leave that, because otherwise I think we're gonna go a bit long today. So. We will pick those up on the next one and hopefully I will have managed to collect everything in order to go and do this as well. And we can do that. I must be getting near the end now. Like, cause I just don't know, like, I don't know. I just don't know how much more there can be, but we'll see. So I will see you on the next one.